Part 1. White Clouds. Blue Sea Moon. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. As the sun grows stronger and the nights grow ever shorter, the Blue Sea Star returns to the sky once more. Believed to be the Goddess's home, her followers look to the star and commence celebrations of her rebirth. On the grounds of Garag Mach Monastery, a grand ceremony is held in honor of this much anticipated event. Every true follower of the Church of Saros is sure to be in attendance. Hello everyone, Space Doyster here, and welcome back to the Ashen Blue Lion Wolves. I was thinking I should call it Blue Lions Ashen Wolves Edition, since um, the Ashen Wolves don't really get to do much in the story itself. They just get to participate on the maps. Ooh, someone's birthday. Yes, let's buy them flowers. Oh no, what's going on here? Someone wants to talk. No, we save that for later, silly Billy. So, our task for this moon is to patrol and guard the monastery, to help put a stop to that assassination plot. The knights will certainly have their hands full protecting Lady Rhea, and perhaps our enemy is counting on that. I agree. Please, elaborate. Why would Lord Lenato be carrying around a secret note with an assassination plot written on it? Isn't it possible he hoped to monopolize everyone's attention with this alleged plot? in order to distract from his true aim. Maybe they're after the treasure vault. <gasps> There's also lots of valuable stuff in the library and Professor Hanneman's quarters. True. The monastery undoubtedly houses many weapons that rival even the hero's relics. Whatever their aim, we can't allow any harm to come to the ladies of the monastery. I mean, what would I do with my spare time? You mean to say we should search the monastery, try to find what the enemy is truly after? Yes. And we should be prepared to fight them as well, should it come to that. I wouldn't mind getting in some training, just in case. A secret meeting, Professor? Oh, we haven't been introduced. I am Shamir. Shamir is one of the Knights of Saros. And this young man here is... I work for Lady Rhea, and I'm Shamir's apprentice. Oh, the name's Cyril. Um, you work for Rhea? Yep, I help Lady Rhea with all kinds of stuff. I've got to protect Lady Rhea, so that's why I've got to learn all I can from Shamir. Cyril adores Rhea. That aside, if you need anything, ask. Yeah, so those were two of so some of the best characters in the game. Well, possibly just one. I don't know about Cyril. He does have his good points, but um, Shamir, definitely one of the game's best absolute best. Anyway, let's go ahead and explore the monastery. Because why not? A hero's relic. Uh, do you know something? However could I know something? Still, it is heavy on my mind. The stone within the sword. A glow of red. Hm? Oh, it is nothing. Okay, then. All right, let's see. Who do we got up here? Oh, speaking of the most broken unit in the game. Too much time roaming the monastery. If you're looking for something, try less aimless wandering. Uh, I was thinking of the do you enemies. Even know who the enemy is? You can't know why without knowing who. It's none of my business anyway. I'm just here to take care of enemies who get too close. That's Shamir for you. Let's see, do, do I have anything you're missing? Um, I doubt you're missing an elegant e hair clip or a sketch of a sigil, so let's move on. But yeah, I should probably just call it the uh, uh, Blue Lions featuring the Ashen Wolves, since they only show up in battle and in the monastery, since they didn't work them into the actual story bits. It's a bit of a shame, really, that we don't get a... Um, we don't get the main storyline flavored from their perspective. That would have been neat. I think so, anyway. Um, uh, hi. Right now is, um, well, right now is okay, I guess. 
if you uh, want to chat a little. Didn't I see you in the I dining hall last night? Hungry sometimes, like anyone else. What? Eating at night is bad for you. <laughs> There's no way that's true. Wait, really? Mm-hmm. Really? Anyway, do I have anything of yours? Well, no, that tattered overcoat definitely isn't yours. Yeah, for some odd reason, Bernadetta just likes to leave things right outside her door. Now, let's go ahead and do some gardening. Now, let's see. Did I get anything good? No. I even got weeds. Ugh. I'm not very good at gardening. I think there is a guide you can look up online that'll um, give you or tell you what the good combinations are to get the best stuff. I usually just plant flowers so that way I have extra gifts to give to people to max out their motivation. It would be terrible if the greenhouse was targeted. The plants in here are incredibly valuable. This place contains the heart of Garrett Mock's 995 year history. So many beautiful flowers, plants that can save or end lives. They are all my precious children. And this month only, I'm going to talk to all the NPCs as well, because some of them are going to be... The goddess's rite of rebirth is the most significant ritual for the Church of Seros. Could it be that someone has spread these rumors of an assassination plot merely with the intention to hinder the celebration? Yeah, the NPCs are going to be um, uh, necessary for the mission that you get in the monastery this month. So I'm going to make sure to talk to them. I hope you're well. As for me, I had a date with a splendid specimen of a knight. But now he's suddenly not in the mood to see me again. I blame all these rumors of a deathly figure showing up in town. Such an uproar must have, beyond reason, drawn his attention away from me. Yep, yeah, there is absolutely nothing wrong with you, Manuela. Nothing at all. Like, seriously, though, I do find it odd that she has such a troubled hey dating life. You'd think people, uh, you'd think, um, men would be on top of all that. Oh, so sleepy. Too sleepy. I found an interesting book in the library. Got so caught up reading it, I forgot to sleep. Interesting discovery, though. The coffins of the four saints in the sanctum each have their crests carved into them. I'll need to find a way down there to get a look. But then again, it's also um, neat that they, they're not portraying men as blindless idiots who would uh, just um, uh, blindly throw themselves at a... I bought the ingredients for making some sweet treats I can't wait to eat. Huh? Oh, uh, I know it looks like I'm fooling around, but I'm not. I'm preparing for potential battle during my patrol by making sure I have plenty of food I can eat while walking. Smart, huh? Uh, yeah, good thinking. <laughs> Once they're ready, I promise to share some with you. But yeah, I think it's good that they don't portray uh, men with Manuela as just throwing themselves blindly at her just because... That? I thought it was gone for good. How did you know it was mine? Just because she's attractive, but that's probably more realistic than not, I, I, I'd something imagine. Something in the monastery that someone might go after? There's so much here, I couldn't possibly name just one. Even this here kitchen contains precious wares, wine bottles from centuries past and the like. I hear that stuff is fancy, but not very drinkable. I doubt anyone would go to the trouble of stealing it. Good to know. But yeah, I guess that's more realistic too, because... What's the matter? You're running all over creation. Ah, you don't believe Lady Rhea is the real target, do you? Even so, the knights have their orders. We can't abandon our duty to guard Lady Rhea. The goddess's rite of rebirth is an important event for the Church of Seros. They say it's the day when the goddess will return to walk among us. Not too likely, if you ask me. Uh, best if you keep that to yourself. Because I couldn't imagine myself uh, still pursuing a, uh, an attractive guy just because... Or an attractive guy purely for his looks if his personality was hot garbage and we had no chemistry. That would just be weird. So, I suppose the same is true for everyone. Or at least I'm going to assume so. Otherwise, the um, this smidge of faith I have left in humanity will probably just dry up and Think, die. Have you heard of the War of the Eagle and Lion? It was the battle that won the kingdom its independence from the Empire. 
Even the Church of Saros had no choice but to recognize the courage of Lug, the King of Lions who emerged victorious. The Church awarded him a crown and the right to govern the Fargus region, backing him in his bid to found the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. In return, Lug agreed to make the Church of Saros the religion of his territory and permitted them to publicly proselytize across the kingdom. In the 400 years since, the Church and the Kingdom have continued to maintain very close relations. Oh, it's a good thing this is voice acted. I did not know about the word proselytize before now. And I absolutely love the world building they put into this game. So much interesting stuff you can learn about Fodlin, and even the areas beyond it, thanks to uh, characters like Dedu, Shamir, and uh, Cyril. <laughs> Since uh, all three of them are from outside of Fodlin. I don't know who's to blame for all this commotion, but it's frankly a huge inconvenience. With everyone stuck on guard duty, our study and training time has been drastically reduced. Uh, seriously, Lysithia? There are more important things. Hmm. I don't know if any of those are yours. Alright, what about you? It seems there were forces opposing the church beyond Lord Lonato. I never thought such forces could exist in this world. Um, we only know. I suppose that may be true. Yeah, I hate it when we get the long dialogue options. I never get enough time to read. If I had done a better job of recording this during been talk of an attempt on Rhea's life, we've been ordered to help the knights patrol. Could that possibly mean that Rhea isn't beloved by everyone the world over? Possibly, but yeah, I, I should have ma done a better job of recording, making sure I could record the audio while recording the gameplay. That would have been so handy. And saved me a lot of time. Let's see, I'm not seeing any missing items here. The monks declined my offer of assistance. They said that no one from Dusker is to be trusted, especially now. Given the circumstances, I cannot fault them. Oh, poor Dedu. That will not Dedu. Alright. Well, none of the items I have are yours, so let's move on. Oh, wasn't there someone? Oh, there she is. She's sitting at the desk. How did I miss her? Is it true you got caught in the fighting? I'm so thankful you made it out alive. I don't know what we would do if we lost you. All right, what do we got here? Nothing for you. Okay, we're good. I don't know why Dorothea so cares so much about me. I'm a stranger. We just barely met. Oh, have you been tasked with guarding the monastery as well? Such a stir over a single letter. But I suppose the Archbishop's safety is too important to risk. Too important indeed. Oh, yeah. I bet the enemy is using this assassination nonsense just to sneak in and raid the pantry. What do you think, Professor? Ah, uh, you might oh, be right. I'm right, all right. My animal instinct is telling me that the enemy is after our best meats. Indeed, everyone needs to eat after all, and food is food. Now, uh, let's see here. And then they do. Oh. Fighting to stop a murdering is my specialness. Uh, no, my specialty. I will show my best work. You will do that indeed, Petra. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, and then they just do a good job with the world. Can you imagine the Archbishop being murdered? I prefer not to consider such a gruesome scenario. Um, interesting. Calm, oh, of course not. I wonder what it takes to rile you up. Mm, not too much, actually. I'm very easy to scare and startle. That's why I don't do horror. Although, I probably should do horror games. Um, I've been seeing a review of this one called Soma, and it sounds interesting, so that might be neat. People seem to think that all the Knights of Seros are equal, but that isn't quite so. There are many distinguishing ranks within the Order. For example, there are squires who are training to become knights, as well as full knights, like myself. Oh, and then we have the holy knights, such as Catherine. Those are the knights that can wield a hero's relic. Ooh, neat. Listen, the goddess's home is in the sky. She lives on a bright and shining star. But in the spring, you can't see that star. That means she can't protect Bodlin. That's why we all celebrate the day when her star returns to the sky. That's the day of the rite of rebirth. See? See? 
I've been studying. I know just about everything. Ooh, that is good indeed. Yeah, I just love the little tidbits they tell you about the world of Fodlin too. Like you get it gives me the impression that this is a place that could exist, even though it is purely fantasy and wouldn't make much sense. Here's a thought. With the whole monastery preparing for the goddess's rite of rebirth this month, it feels like everyone's a little on edge. Well, let's see here. Nothing for Ignatz. Nope, nope, nope. May I say? And... I can't stop thinking about Lenato. I'm sorry, Professor. I know this isn't the time, but I just can't get past it. Um, there's nothing to be done. Thank you. No matter what happens, I promise you I'll do my part. I checked on my brother and sister, who were living in Castle Gaspar. Thankfully, they're all right. I was worried because they're both so young, but the church in the castle town offered to take them in. That much, at least, is a big relief. Let's see, and I don't have anything for Ash either. Poor kid. Mm, dealing with a lot. Professor, I am afraid I have acted a bit childishly toward my brother recently. Given the circumstances, I requested that he provide me with some candies. <laughs> Silly of me, really. The timing was improper, and I regret it very much now. Oh! But more importantly, this place is off-limits, Professor. It is only open to the public on the day of the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. Hmm. hmm. Nothing for Flane. Ooh. On the day of the Rite, the monastery will be open to the public, including the Holy Mausoleum. The Holy Mausoleum is where the Tomb of the Divine Saros lies. There she slumbers, eternally. That's pretty much all that's in there. Just an ancient coffin. It's sealed with a powerful magic to protect against would-be grave robbers. Oh, yeah, I don't think anyone would ever be interested in no nothing but a coffin. Like, seriously. I have, a th have you visited the Goddess Tower? It's a sacred place used for rituals and the like. In general, students aren't allowed entry. But, as you'd expect, that rule just excites their curiosity. <laughs> Some have even tried sneaking in. Well, at least for this month, that kind of behavior is totally unthinkable. We have a lot more security, what with the goddess's right of rebirth coming up. Oh, right, and I think I picked up his oh, lost item. This is mine. I thought it had vanished. Thanks, I owe you. You are welcome, Eloise. Hmm. Yeah, and then they, they always got people walking around, too. It makes the monastery seem lived in, even though most of them I can't actually talk to. But that is a-okay. At the same time, though, it makes these trots around the monastery a bit, um... Well... I guess tedious is the right word, but I want to make sure I get everything on screen. I don't know what's going to be important or what people are going to want to see. Did you know that on the last day of the rite, the monastery's open to the general public? It's kind of fun. It makes the place feel like a festival. Let's see, nothing for Hilda. And... Her class is on a festival day. I thought I'd get to spend all day relaxing in the company of some lovely ladies. But now this mess has happened. Hey, Professor, I know there's talk of an assassination attempt, but do you really think they'll do it on the day of the Rite of Rebirth? I feel like security would be looser some other time. Is there some reason why it has to happen on that day? Huh, probably because it's a ruse. We've been over this, Sylvain. Like, seriously, why aren't you paying more attention? Get your head out of the clouds, or, well, I guess he's got his head lower than the clouds. I've been in town procuring some supplies for Flame. No, but do not concern yourself for my safety. I am very much stronger than I appear. Sorry, I forgot I to read this to ask of you. Read my lines, but that's a-okay. I'm sorry to... Hmm. 
I'm so glad that they put in this thing in here that lets us see what faction the gifts go or the missing items go to, because I used to just go through the whole list one at a time for every person. Professor, while the investigation is important, don't forget to make time for your training. If we have to battle and cannot win, all will be lost. We don't know who our enemy is, so we must be prepared for anything. Yep, prepared for anything. But yeah, I used to just go through the list. Professor, nothing to report. The goddess's rite of rebirth is this month, right? The monastery gates will be thrown wide open on that day. I'll be working as a guide. I hope I get to guide some lovely ladies around. <laughs> oh. oh, there we go. More items. I think I missed one, but that's okay. Hey, professor. How's it going? Making lots of coin? I'd love to catch up, but I'm super busy right now. Working. For money. <laughs> you understand. Hey, how about a favor? Oh, I believe I've got... Oh, thanks for finding this. I honestly never thought I'd see it again. Yeah, and then Anna's repeating quest is probably the second best thing about her. The first is her paralogue, where you get a... Uh, where you get a flying squadron so. that can stride. And that is the best thing about Anna. Well, I guess she's an okay... I've heard talk of students wandering the monastery late at night. They wouldn't happen to be from your class, would they? Please keep your students in line, Professor. Kids these days. I will do my best, lady. Hmm. Setting fire to the stables to distract everyone. To cause a commotion. It is the oldest trick in the book, but I cannot shake the thought that our enemies may attempt it. I will stand guard and watch over the stable and the knight's horses. They are truly magnificent. Ooh, Please, Ferdinand's a horse a lover. And he's got a quest for us. Oh, I was looking for this. Thank you so much. Yeah, giving Ferdinand an item he doesn't actually own is very... Ugh. It shows the downs, or the negative side of the nobility. See if the enemy's aim lies elsewhere. We had better discern their true intent quickly. As I see it, our best option is to explore every inch of the monastery. We should also speak to everyone here. Let's plan to compare notes once you've got a lead. Will you do me a favor? Oh, thank you. I have been looking for this, but how did you know it was mine? It had your name on it, and I was just guessing. Yeah, but going through those items one at a time, very tedious. I did not like it. I hear you have fought alongside Catherine. I would wager that her power exceeded your expectations. Had you the chance to witness her relic? Thunderbrand, glowing red. That glow is a sure sign that her blood contains a crest that harmonizes with that hero's relic. Yeah, once you learn more about the hero relics and crests and all that, it makes it confusing how they line up like that. I, I don't really get it, and I've played through all three rats, or all four rats. Well, I haven't completely finished Silver Snow, but I imagine there's not going to be too many new... Oh, hey, Professor. I was just reading this letter from my father. Do you know him? He's a pretty big deal in the Empire. He only writes to ask how my training's going, or how many monsters I've killed, stuff like that. Hey, I got a favor to ask. But yeah, for Silver Snow Route, I imagine I'm not missing too much else. Yeah, that's definitely mine. You really saved me with this. I owe you one, Professor. But I could be wrong. But I just have no motivation to finish Silver Snow. It was one of the weakest uh, you routes. Know what this room is. It is the church's treasure vault. I say treasure, but I do not mean silver and gold and jewels. It mostly contains weapons, artifacts, and the like. Anything that would cause too great a stir, should it be stolen? No. The church knows better than to store anything too valuable in such an accessible location. Wait, then why is it a treasure vault? Shouldn't you just be able to lock it and call that good? Or or maybe there's another vault. Many treasures. Maybe the enemy is after one of those? Even so, 
The idea of stealing from a church is just horrible. It is indeed. Churches are supposed to be charity charitable or charities or whatever. Supposed to be, but a lot of them are well ick. Uh, I'm not too sure about the Church of Saros, though. Rhea just gives me some really weird vibes. I don't like it. Well, I don't like her. You'd best keep your distance. In this nervous state, I might just cut you down. Um, I dare you to try. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm only kidding. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you are. Huh. Yeah, I've never used Catherine before. I imagine she's good just like Shamir is, but I have no idea. Might you have come looking for me because you were worried about my safety? Um, yeah, I was worried. Quite all right. But your concern means a great deal. I wasn't actually worried, but I'm gonna take every opportunity I can to make yes, you happy. That is surely mine. I appreciate you bringing this to me. Because I need to get you up to a C support before I can do things. Ugh. I don't like it, though. Rhea just... She makes me uncomfortable. I do not care for it. Hmm. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Yeah. Unbelievable. What a terrifying story. However, an assassination attempt on Lady Rhea is doomed to fail. Pardon? You think the goal may be different than simple assassination? Intriguing. I suppose the priceless objects in this room could perhaps draw thieves. However, there's no one but me who could make use of them. I can't believe I left this behind. Oh, thank you so much for retrieving it. Ooh, there we go. Let's see. Just a bit more to explore and up here, and then we're gonna go down and talk to the Ashen Wolves, I think. That boy who assists the Archbishop. Cyril, I believe? I hear he's originally from a foreign land to the east called Almyra. I know he's still only a child, but I do wonder about his true intentions. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. He's just a kid. Like, seriously. He is just a kid. What is wrong with you, lady? There are numerous books in this library that you cannot find anywhere else. But once you are here, you can read them easily enough. I doubt someone would go to the trouble of stealing one. Sometimes Seteth will dispose of books that are deemed inappropriate for the monastery, but that's about it. In a way, I suppose that makes those particular volumes more valuable, right? <laughs> Probably, or they're just books Sedith doesn't like, because he's trying to make sure that everyone who follows the Church of Saros thinks the right way. Eesh. You know, that's exactly what they did in 1984 for the exact same reason. Mm-hmm. Hey, did you hear? A knight wielding a scythe is roaming around town at night. If he's a villain, I'd like to get the measure of him. Oh. That's mine! Thanks so much for finding it. Yeah. I wouldn't be too eager to fight him, Leone. You're probably one of the worst for it. Lysithia can take him on, though. Lysithia is the best at that. You're skilled. Why won't you battle me? <laughs> Wait, I haven't actually tried to do that. I'm sorry. Hmm. Is it just me or was an assassin to the monastery? Hmm? Hopefully, it's someone worth crossing blades with. Uh, I hope so too. Cut from the same cloth. All right. Let's see here. So this is where we get to do um, tournaments. Um, you enter one of your students into the tournament, and then they fight a series of opponents. Out of my way. 
And then if they take first place, they'll get the grand prize, and after every round, you earn a little bit of cash. So... Out of my way. It's usually a worthwhile way to see if your students are measuring up to what you want them to be, but, um... Uh, for the most part, it's completely optional. I wouldn't worry too much about always doing it. Especially if you're not on New Game Plus and you have very limited, um... Uh, da -da -da, what's the word I'm looking for? Activity points. And then, um, there are four rounds, and you get two chances to heal in between each round. And you have to make sure you win all of them before, uh, you have to win all of them before your health runs out. Not too shabby. Harry's Crest makes him really good at this. I'm glad I asked you. Yeah, all right, and you can enter it multiple times in a day if you'd like to use up more activity points. Anyway, let's go ahead and hand in these quests. So first, for Ferdinand, we give um, Lorenz the gift of elegant tea set. And most kind. Thank you for bringing this to me. I will have to repay you sometime. Yeah, now we can invite people to tea! Yay! Tea time isn't completely useless, it does build up your supports with them if you have a good, uh, if you have a really good tea time, and it'll boost your charm and theirs if they're in your class. You have my thanks. So, it's very, very handy. Let's see. Next, we're gonna have to go talk to... Oh, I guess I'm gonna go head downstairs. I thought I was going to hand in the quest I did for Dimitri. But, never mind, we're going to Abyss. Here we go. Loading screens. I don't like loading screens. Hey you, listen up. I've got something to report. I'm what you might call the chosen one, the Alpha of Abyss, the Reaper and the Keeper. That said, I've had some unnecessary backup recently. Lord Seteth requested my presence. There's an important ceremony happening this month. If only my backup had been a lovely lady with a thing for Watchmen. We could have had a love story for the ages. <sighs> well, I mean, you could still have a love story for the ages. There's nothing stopping you. Ugh, more church thugs. Can't anybody relax and have a drink around here? Loosen up. How about a game? You like cards? Hmm, not particularly. I don't gamble. I'm very unlucky. Uh, let's see here. I'm not seeing too much over here. Wait, what's this ruckus going on? Oh, two people fighting. Eh, nothing important there. Alright, what about... Ooh. Yeah, I'm stealing your garbage. What you gonna do about it? Uh, let's see here. Thanks. Not to be disrespectful... But the rite of rebirth seems kind of silly. What, the goddess is reborn every year? Although, hey, if you do run into her, let me know. I'd like to have a word. I bet she'll be pretty upset to learn what the church has been doing in her name. I'm pretty sure she would be. She doesn't seem to be... Well, no. I've got my ideas about the people after Lady Rhea. And even I don't know how this will shake out. I don't seem very devout, do I? Even so, I'd hate to see anything happen to the Archbishop. That secret message is suspicious. To take it at face value seems... unwise. Alrighty then. Oh, uh, let's see, was there something I was talking about? First the uprising, and now all this talk of an assassination? What is the world coming to? I should offer my magical services, just in case. Um, what kind of services? I advised a spell to trick flowers into behaving like guard dogs. At the first sign of an intruder, the petals burst open, releasing their pollen. Uh, I'm, I'm 
still fine-tuning it. Yeah, I'm sure that it, that's good for something. I hear some thieves are targeting the monastery. I've been feeling restless lately, so if you want some help unleashing on those jerks, just say the word. I'd appreciate oh, that. Oh, this could be fun. Now I've just got to figure out where they'll be coming from. My fists are itching for a brawl. Hopefully, I get first crack at those poor fools. Hmm. Yeah, hopefully. Well, this god statue speaks to me in a strange voice. It is a strong voice, but frightening. I wonder what is on the inside of it. Hmm. That's odd. Makes me wonder what the pagan deity is. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn in the quest that we got from Dimitri. So that way we will be good to go. Any minute now. Any minute now. There we go. All right, let's go talk to Dimitri. Oh, Dim oh, I forgot to talk to Cyril too. How could I forget Cyril? We even had a lady gossiping about him. Cyril, come out and play. Wait, is that is that a risky joke? Maybe I don't know. I think it's from a horror movie. I'm yeah. I, haven't, I don't see a lot. Excuse me, Professor. I just wanted to let you know that Lady Rhea is always real concerned with you. She expects great things, I think. Please don't let her down, okay? Of course not. I hope you're not just saying that. All right. Do I have any lost items for Cyril? Um, no, no, I do not. Okay. Now we're gonna go talk to Dimitri. Thanks for your help. So, there is something that the church values above all else. On the day of the rite, it will be open to the public. That will make gaining entry far easier than usual. You know the place of which I speak. Um, yes, the Holy Mausoleum. Yes, that is the most likely possibility. We do not know their objective, but there is a good chance that our enemy is planning to target the Holy Mausoleum. All right, so that'll take care of that for now. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.